What's up YouTube? I hope each and every one of you guys are healthy and killing it today. Today it is actually a pretty nice day considering it's December. It's higher 50s, partly cloudy, and just an overall nice day again considering it is December. And that is why we are reviewing the 2023 Subaru Crosstrek Base. Huge thank you to Tyler Wright over at Stallman Subaru of Sterling, Virginia for allowing me to do this review for you guys today. If you guys are interested in this particular Crosstrek or any Subaru product, I'll be sure to have Tyler's information on screen as well as in the description box down below but with that said let's get into the video first let's talk about the exterior and performance and like i said this is a 2023 subaru crosstrek base and this particular one has been painted in pure red one thing that i do like about this color is that i did pick this car up when it was pretty gloomy and cloudy like it is kind of over there and the color still popped so this is a very very vibrant red and i personally really really like it but let's start over here at our headlights then we'll work our way down and around to the rear end of the cross track so you do get with the base halogen headlights as well as halogen daytime running lights and then shifting over a little bit to the left is where you will find your dark gray grill with two light gray grill bars as well as your Subaru emblem in a satin black grill surround you can see this part of the grill is dark gray and then you have your two lighter gray grill bars it looks pretty sweet in my opinion and then towards the bottom of your front bumper is where you'll find some satin black cladding that flares up on the driver's side as well as on the passenger side respectively so you can see pops up right here this is where you would um, have fog lights but you can see on this base you do not get fog lights and then one more thing before we move on is that you do get 8.7 inches of ground clearance with the cross trek base and then moving along the side of the cross trek you do get some satin black wheel arch cladding that follows through below your passenger doors and again to the second wheel well obviously in the rear but let's move back up to the front because you do get 17 inch black with machine finish alloy wheels wrapped in a 225 60 yokohama geolander g91 tire i'll show you guys the tread pattern on that tire here really quick i don't know if you get the best view of it but that's about as good as it's gonna get one thing that i do like about these wheels or i think that is kind of interesting is that the wheels look like a faux beadlock wheel you can see with like these things right here it kind of looks like it may be a beadlock wheel however when you zoom in closer to it it's just like a little black piece it looks pretty sweet though in my opinion but just behind your wheel and tire setup is where you'll find your four wheel raised independent suspension which you will obviously find at all four corners of the cross track you get black mirror caps as well as a light on your upper left hand side of your driver's side mirror and on the upper right hand side of your passenger side mirror if i open up the door you can see the light turns on this particular cross track base does have the 681 dollars exterior and interior auto dimming mirrors so this mirror is auto dimming as is the passenger side mirror which is pretty sweet and then at the roof line of the cross track base you get black raised roof rails just below that you get some black window trim, body color door handles, and then at the bottom again of your passenger doors, you have satin black cladding. Again, you get another wheel arch molding right there. And then starting at the top of the rear end is where you will find your black roof spoiler. You can see looks pretty sweet in contrast to the red paint, red paint, black roof spoiler third brake light you got your intermittent rear wiper back here it goes the same speed so it'll go like this this but one it'll go slow it'll go boom or you can have it go boom 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 but it's always going to be the same speed you get halogen taillights subaru emblem right here just below your subaru emblem is where you'll find your rear view camera you get your subaru lettering symmetrical all-wheel drive cross track lettering all in chrome this particular Crosstrek base, again, has the $152 black bumper protector, which you will find right here. I suggest getting that if you're gonna be loading stuff in and out of your trunk, which everybody does for that matter. And then on the driver's side and on the passenger side of the rear bumper, you get a reflector as well as some satin black cladding. I like this rear valence because it looks pretty aggressive, but it is uh, the same color as the rest of the body, but I think it looks pretty sweet. Then if you guys were wondering about the max tow capacity of 
this particular cross track it is 1500 pounds but i do want to show you guys what the trunk space looks like back here so all you got to do is find your subaru emblem and then you will locate that little pad right there and the trunk will open up it is not a power lift gate it is a manually opening lift gate so just keep that in mind you get a light over here that if you flip it this way it will turn on and then here is your cargo net that cargo net is a 62 dollar option uh, and here it is yeah that's about it for the trunk not really that much going on back here however if you lift this up is where you'll find your tow hook your jack and your spare tire so yeah that's about it for the trunk space i would say you could probably fit three four maybe five if you stack um, them carry on suitcases but that's about it for the trunk you got a little grab handle right there if you wanted to grab onto it and close your trunk just like that the only real uh change for 2023 or i guess it's not really a change but they did add a special edition trim level that is based off of the premium trim level but let me know what you guys think of the 2023 cross track in the comment section down below considering that this is the base model i think it looks pretty sweet especially in this red and i think those faux beadlock wheels really set this car off very very nicely but again let me know if you agree or disagree with me in the comment section down below but with that said let's move into performance Popping open that hood reveals that two liter boxer naturally aspirated four cylinder that makes 152 horsepower and 145 pound feet of torque. This particular motor is mated to the $1,350 linear tronic continuously variable transmission for a zero to 60 time in 8.7 seconds. And if you guys were wondering about fuel economy, you can achieve 28 miles per gallon in the city, 33 miles per gallon on the highway for 30 miles per gallon combined with all wheel drive but if you guys are enjoying the video so far today please give this video a big thumbs up please hit that subscribe button i'm really trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2022 and i cannot do that without your guys's help so i greatly appreciate it if you guys would help me get to my goal of 10k subs by the end of 2022 i would greatly appreciate it with that out of the way let's move into the interior moving into the interior you do not get keyless access you do get this key fob though right here with your physical key so all you got to do to unlock the vehicle is press the unlock button once you can tell the vehicle unlocks because it gives you that double beep if you guys want to lock the vehicle press the lock button you can tell the vehicle locks because it does that single beep but let's take a look at our driver's side door panel and see what's going on so you do get some faux carbon fiber trim that surrounds your door handle you get your unlock and lock button power side mirror controls right here automatic up and down windows in the front manual up and down windows in the rear pressing on this button will lock your passenger window privileges you get a nicely padded armrest that is leather wrapped and then you get a nice spot actually right here that you can set your phone so i have an iphone 14 pro max and even that phone fits in there nicely um, that's kind of cool because other manufacturers or other vehicles that space is only about this big but i like how subaru on pretty much all their models has a great spot you can set your phone right there and then towards the bottom of the door panel you have some miscellaneous storage in a spot you can set a water bottle in as well manually adjustable driver seat manually adjustable passenger seat this is a manually adjustable driver seat like i said but you can bring it up and you can bring it down by going like this that's down and then up is pulling up on it like that and obviously you can recline the seat by pulling up on that pulling up on this will open up your filler neck door but let's step into the interior and see what's going on in here so we'll start over here then we'll work our way to the passenger side and into those rear seats so right over here this turns traction control on or off this turns automatic stop start on or off this dial will either brighten and or dim your backlit gauges as well as your backlit buttons Let's close the door here real quick. Like I said, you do not get keyless access, so you do have to put the key in the ignition. So I'll put the key in the ignition, we'll turn it, and you can see the gauges are turning on. I didn't start the vehicle, but uh, I might do that now, actually. Let's start it. And we'll start over here. So this is your turn signal stock. So let's take a listen to that turn signal. That's what your turn signal sounds like. And then this is also your headlight control stock. So right now, I've twisted all the way down. That is headlights off. Twist that up once. That's it's daytime running lights on. Flip that up one more time. And that is headlights always on. We'll keep those off. 
and then you can see just behind here this is trip reset so this is your productivity screen you can see it says 50 miles and then it's or 52 miles and then it says 52.2 miles so if i press trip reset that will reset the top number and you can see the top number goes to 0, 0.0 miles but over here this is to skip back and forth between songs so right now i'm on bluetooth audio so if i press that that switches in between my different songs. Flip that one more time. Switches in between the different songs. This is to go back on a track, forward on a track. This is volume up. This is volume down. This is to switch in between your different sources. Sources being AM, FM, Bluetooth audio, auxiliary jack, USB, all those different sources. And then this is your info button. So if I press on this button right here, that can control this top screen up top here. So you can go in between these different things. Uh, they're all pretty much like fuel stuff. So you can see your fuel range, average MPG, which I just reset set right here and it uh, reflects that over there and blah 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 all that kind of stuff that is the button you press this is to pick up on a phone call and or speak to the vehicle this is to hang up on a phone call and then these buttons down here control what's going on in your productivity screen so let's go throughout that right now that is like fuel stuff more fuel stuff more fuel stuff um, you can press I set for a different menu. So right now we'll pressing and holding on that and then you can switch in between um, your different menus, which I'm not going to mess with right now. We'll go back into our other screen, which is right here. Tire pressure. Um, one thing that's cool about this is that when your auto stop start brings you to a stop at a stoplight or something like that, it will count how long it's been off for. And then it will also count how much fuel has been saved with the auto stop start system turning the vehicle off. We'll go down one more tire pressure stuff. And uh, yeah, and then you also have your digital speedometer readout. This is like your Subaru EyeSight stuff. That lets us know that automatic stop start is off at the moment. P is for park, uh, 52 miles, that's your odometer. Right down here, you have your fuel gauge. So right now we have about a half tank of fuel. On the left-hand side of the cluster is where you'll find your RPM gauge. On the right-hand side is where you will find your speedometer. And then right up top here, uh, that lets us know that we're not doing too well on fuel economy. However, if we're driving on the road and see how this yellow is on this side, if it goes to this side, that lets us know that we're getting better fuel economy. This is your steering wheel. It kind of has like a vinyl type of feel uh, to the steering wheel, so it's not leather wrapped or cloth. Uh, it's more like a vinyl type of material. Let's take a listen to our horn. That is what your horn sounds like. And then right over here, so I had some conflicting information. On the window sticker, it says it has just regular cruise control, but then it also says it comes standard with EyeSight, which has adaptive cruise control. So I'm not 100% sure if it's got adaptive cruise control or cruise control, but pressing on these two buttons right here uh, bring you into your different drive mode. So right now, this is SI drive, which is basically sport mode. Pressing on this button right here is like your normal mode. So those are your two different drive modes and your drive modes reflect right here. So right now that's like iDrive uh, and then pressing on this one that puts you into sport mode and you can see the S right there. And like I said, this does have a physical key. So you got to put that in there and twist. Oh, I know that's so hard to do nowadays. And then right over here, you have your windshield wiper control stock. So if you pull back on that, that will wash the front windshield. If I go like this, that will wash the windshield or the rear glass. So that's about it for this part of the video. And then up top here, again, like I said, you can control the info that you see on the right-hand side of this screen by pressing on this info button on your steering wheel. Again, we'll go through that. You can see all your different screens. I would probably leave it on uh, the fuel range. And then you get your ambient exterior temperature and the current time, which is 1226. And then just below that is where you'll find your 6.5 inch Starlink infotainment with wired Apple CarPlay and wired Android right auto connectivity um, you get an HVAC vent on the right and left side of that screen as well right now we are connected to Bluetooth audio um, you can see you got a home button which will bring you into your home screen which you get your phone settings shortcut apps media radio go over one screen it's a blank screen and then another blank screen press the home button it brings you back into your home screen you can see we're connected to Bluetooth and then it lets us know how much battery is on my phone and how many bars of signal I have on my phone as well get your volume knob get your tuning knob this will bring you into your apps this will bring you into your phone which I'll do right now 
see you can pop up your phone this will bring you into your radio this will bring you into your media which is either your bluetooth audio your usb or your auxiliary jack this is to go back on a track this is to go forward on a track and then just below that you do have automatic climate control which is a single zone system on the base cross track you can see your climate control stack and then just below that down here you have a usb a port an auxiliary jack and a 12 volt power outlet right there i'm not sure how well uh, now you can see better lighting 12 volt power outlet then you got a great spot down here you can also set your phone you got your gear shift lever right here park reverse neutral drive shift that over and that puts you into low and we'll throw her back into park this is your manual emergency brake so pull up that engages the emergency brake you can tell the emergency brake is engaged because it says brake right here if you want to disengage it pull up a little bit push on the button and push back down and you can see it disengages again this is your x mode button so if you press into your x mode button that turns your hill descent control on um, and that's basically like your off-road mode kind of uh, thing in there you got your two cup holders right now i got my water bottle in one of them the water bottle fits in both of them so they are actually a decent size and then if i open this up this is my center fold down armrest you get another 12 volt power outlet a good amount of storage space like pretty much i'd say about uh 40 percent of my forearm fits down in there so actually a good amount of storage space in there and then right here you can set your business cards credit cards something like that uh gift card whatever you want to put that's like a better credit card size it will fit right there and then this is also a nicely padded armrest it's not the most padded thing in the world but it's still very comfortable um, on your elbow and then that's about what your dash looks like from the driver's point of view i think i skimmed over this but this is your hazard button you can see hazards are flashing press that again hazards turn back off you can see some more faux carbon fiber trim that follows through again into your passenger side door panel and then down here you got a lockable glove box which is a nice thing to see because on a lot of new vehicles you do not get a lockable glove box anymore you could fit your owner's manual napkins straws sausage mcmuffins whatever you want to put in there uh, it will fit that's actually a very good amount of storage space in here and like i mentioned this particular cross track does have the 681 dollars exterior and interior auto dimming hl mirrors and what hl stands for is home link which is your universal garage door opener so if you have three garage bays at home you can open up three your three different garage bays individually which is very nice again this is an auto dimming rear view mirror and up top here you have your compass so right now we are facing in an easterly direction just above that you have your passenger airbag on or off up top here right here and over here are your subaru eyesight cameras this is to turn your lane centering on or off right here on or off. And then this is to turn your pre-collision braking on or off as well. Right over here, this right now is to the left, which means when I open up the door, the interior lights will turn on. However, if I come back over here and I push this to the right, now when I open up the interior doors, the interior lights do not turn on. And then you get your driver light, passenger light, boom, boom. And then right over here, got a spot you can set your registration or you know business card, something like that, some paper product. And then opening this up, you get a vanity mirror, but no vanity lights. Let's see if this slides. I don't know if it does, but we can check it. No, it does not slide. So that's what that does. Again, same thing pretty much for over here. You get a vanity mirror, but no vanity light. You get an O poop handle on your passenger side, an O poop handle over here on your driver side, and obviously you got your dome light up top here as well passenger in the rear gets an opu panel and then the driver side passenger also gets an opu panel right there we'll i'll show you guys that when we move into those rear seats but there are a couple things that i wanted to read off to you guys in that I want to tell you guys what comes with your eyesight driver assistance system and what the eyesight driver assist system does is that it monitors traffic movement as well as optimizes cruise control and lets you know when you're swaying in and out of the lane there are a few other things that i'll throw on screen right now uh, but it was a little confusing to read on the subaru website but i'll throw it on screen and you guys can see i believe all that stuff comes standard with the cross track base but i do want to read over some safety features which i'll throw on screen right now is that this does have symmetrical all-wheel drive as well as vehicle dynamics control 
eyesight driver assist system, Subaru advanced frontal airbag system, driver side knee airbag, side curtain airbags with rollover sensor, front seat side impact airbags, whiplash protection system front seats, four wheel disc brakes with brake assist, anti-lock braking system, electric brake force distribution, brake override system, anti-theft alarm and immobilizer system, daytime running lights, rear vision camera and rear seat reminder. I'll throw some performance and exterior stuff on screen. This does have the two liter four cylinder, four wheel independent suspension, 17 inch wheels. Uh, intermittent windshield wipers, electric power assisted steering, blah, blah, blah. You guys can see, and it also has a CVT, which is again, that $1,350 option. And then I'll throw the comfort, convenience and interior features on screen for you guys to take a look at right now, but keep that on screen for about five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. You guys can pause your screen if you want to read the rest of that, but I'm gonna throw the rest of the window sticker on screen now, and let's talk about the MSRP. So the MSRP of this particular 2023 Subaru Crosstrek base is $27,115, which I think is a steal of a deal because this is a very, very nice vehicle for, you know, actually a quite a bit under $30,000 car. So let me know what you guys think of that price in the comment section down below, but I think that is a steal of a deal uh, considering what the price of vehicles are nowadays. But again, let's move into these rear seats and see what it's going on back here. So you can see I got my seat reclined, but door panel looks pretty much the exact same in the rear again you have manual down and up windows you got your door handle a spot you can set your iphone 14 pro max back here again nicely padded leather wrapped armrest and some miscellaneous storage space towards the bottom of the door panel here is a view of your rear seats but let's step in and see what's going on back here. Again, I have my seat reclined way more than I normally would, and I still have leg room, um, and I still have knee room. Let's see what kind of headroom I have. I probably got, you know, maybe five inches of headroom left. Got an Opu handle over here, another Opu handle. Got a spot you can set your dry cleaning right here, and another spot you can set your dry cleaning on the driver's side as well. Seat back pocket behind the passenger seat, but you do not get one behind the driver's seat. No center fold down armrest, but these seats in the rear are actually very comfortable. You can see how much headroom I have see how much leg room I have left. Like I said, this seat is reclined a lot more than it normally would be, but I'm actually very comfortable. And then this is a view of what I have in the second row from about my eyesight. However, there is one more thing I wanna show you guys in these rear seats. And that is that these seat um, headrests for the front seats do this. So you can see you got one, you got two, you got three, you got four. And I believe that's about it. But this is like the most extreme right here. That's the least extreme. And you have a couple things in between um, that you can do. So if you're tired of holding your head up on a long road trip, just put that forward and boom, it will hold your head up for you. Passenger seat does the exact same thing. So very, very nice thing. But you know, we've talked about the exterior, we've talked about the performance, and now we've talked about what's going on here in the interior. So I want to see what this thing's like to drive as I'm assuming you guys do as well. So I will see you guys in the driver's seat. All right, guys, and now on to the driving portion of the review, and let's see how this thing does over speed bumps. Again, we go five miles an hour over them. That was about four. So we'll do a little better of a job on this next speed bump going five. Let's uh, At least if we can. Let's see. Go five. Uh, that was about five. I give this thing a 7.4 on a scale of 110, which is a good score. Uh, nothing will ever be a 10. So if you guys have ever seen the Dave Portnoy pizza review scale, it's pretty much the same thing here. Nothing will ever be a 10. Nine is pretty dang near perfect. But we're gonna take a left out of here. And um, one thing that I wanted to point off pretty much right off the bat, you can see we have about a half tank of fuel, yet our range is still 170 miles. So yes, this thing is not the fastest thing in the world. However, I think it makes up for it in its fuel economy. You can see 170 miles until empty with a half tank of fuel. I think that's absolutely phenomenal. So just imagine what you can get with a full tank of gas. And just keep in mind, this thing is just a just about over a 16 gallon fuel tank. So you really don't have to put that much fuel in it uh, in order for it to go a very long distance distance and one thing I guess I wanted to say again is that this thing rides very very smoothly especially considering this is a $27,000 car and I guess uh, one thing that's gonna lead into what I'm just about to say with that price is that it's hard to find a car under $30,000 nowadays that doesn't 
feel like a tin can and this thing does not feel like a tin can so that's definitely a plus like i remember my mom back in the day had a 2016 nissan rogue and that thing literally felt like a tin can it sounded like a tin can on the highway especially when it was raining it just it was no good uh, but they revised it and they went back and for 2019 which is now she has a 2019 nissan rogue um, it is a lot better than what the 2016 was but this thing for 27k or just over 27k by you know a few cents um very very easy to drive and i like how it's small it's very easy to park you got your rear view camera um you know this doesn't have all the bells and the whistles like the blind spot monitoring or a 360 degree view camera or even a forward facing camera um but it's kind of refreshing a little bit to get in a car that you know costs a few thousand dollars under 30k um, and it's still nice you still have you know bluetooth audio you still have you know an auto dimming rear view mirror that's got home link you got a rear view camera um, supposedly you have maybe adaptive cruise control i'm not 100 sure on that uh, we'll test that out here in a minute but um just a very nice car again for 30k i think it looks or just under 30k i think it looks pretty dang good as well uh, but we're going to test this adaptive cruise control here and we'll see if it actually uh, has adaptive cruise control so right now it looks like it does uh let's see if it will bring me to a stop i got my foot over the brake just in case are we slowing down yet yeah, we're slowing down it's bringing me to a stop i'm not doing anything so yes this does have adaptive cruise control that obs f250 looks sweet um i have a obs 1987 ford f150 that i am doing an ls swap to so if you guys are interested in seeing that make sure you guys hit that subscribe button but this is something i wanted to show you guys so see uh, the auto stop start system is on and it's counting how long the auto stop start system has been on for and how much fuel we have saved with the car off or with the auto stop start engaged so let's see if this thing does what the other um yep you can see vehicle ahead has moved that's something that i really like with subaru products is that when the car in front of you moves it will let you know so that's the eyesight system in action so if, let's say you're sleeping at a light let's say you're playing on your phone or something like that and you're just not totally paying attention it will let you know when the vehicle ahead of you has moved it'll go beep and it will project something on the screen that says vehicle ahead has moved so that's very very nice and i definitely appreciate that feature uh, because you know sometimes you're not paying attention you're looking over looking over here you're looking over there and uh, it just lets you know so i really really like that and i have never seen that on any other vehicle besides a subaru product so i think that's pretty cool and that's something that i think other manufacturers should incorporate on their vehicles it looks like that obs ford died at that light it didn't sound too good it didn't sound like it wanted to move forward but you can hear we're going 50 miles an hour and listen for a $27,000 car this thing is very well insulated from the outside world I'm actually kind of surprised at how well it's insulated from what's going on around us at this moment this guy's looking at me like I'm crazy because I got the camera on my hat but whatever I'm doing this video for you guys and honestly it doesn't really bother me if people look at me like I'm crazy but yeah this thing rides really nice honestly the suspension is great yeah it's not going to handle you know like a wrx is obviously i mean that's what you should expect uh is it for it to you know be comfortable cruising down the road but it's not going to handle like a wrx would uh, on the back road so definitely a little bit of body roll um the acceleration isn't the greatest but it's also not the worst so if you guys don't really care about the acceleration you don't you're not a speed phenom or something like that then i think this thing's got more more than enough get up and go for you guys and it 100 makes up for it in its fuel economy um, especially considering that this has all-wheel drive standard so you get very good fuel economy for this vehicle having all-wheel drive right now my lane keep assist is on and i can feel it in action you can see it's kind of turning me you can see if i'm not paying attention it kind of just steers you to where you need to go so pretty cool um and you know that might keep you out of a sticky situation but again sometimes you don't really feel like fighting with the lane keep assist system and you can turn that off by pressing the button up top here and now um, i believe if i turn the cruise control off as well 
it's going to turn the lane keep assist off. So now you can see lane keep assist is off. So now it is totally up to me to stay in the lane. So pretty nice that you can turn that on and off. Um, just over again, just an overall really nice driving vehicle. Uh, very well insulated considering the price tag of this vehicle. Very easy to drive. Um, the power steering, super, super simple. Um, it's very easy. You can literally turn this thing with one finger. You got the standard all-wheel drive this one has the $1,350 continuously variable transmission however if you guys want the standard or the manual transmission that is free that so the six-speed manual is standard you can upgrade to the continuously variable transmission like we have here today we'll push my foot down on the brake and you can see again how much fuel we've saved and how long the vehicle has been off for. So I think that's, again, a pretty cool thing. One thing I guess I will mention right now is that these seats are actually very, very comfortable, nicely padded. I feel like they've got just the right amount of bolstering. They're not heated, they're not cooled, but I don't feel like they need to be because they are cloth. And if you have a cloth seat, um, you really don't have to worry about you know the heated function of it because it's not going to get as cold as a leather seat would this is a tilting and telescoping steering wheel but it is manual so you can get your manual control on the bottom of the steering wheel over here but yeah very very nice driving vehicle and i think this is a great bang for your buck because there are very very few vehicles now um, that are you know under 30k nowadays and this thing i think you get a lot for your money for the price but we're gonna skip to a zero to 60 test before we end out today's video so let's skip to that now all right guys there's something i wanted to show you guys see how the mpgs right here are in green now that means we're getting better fuel economy and then once i get on the gas you can see they go into that part right here but we're gonna line up on our line we're gonna do our zero to 60 test and uh, let's see how she does so all we're gonna do pull up to zero miles an hour and then we'll floor it in three two one it's lord Good low end torque right there. A little punch from the low end torque. Sixty. There you go. That's the zero to sixty test on the 2023 Subaru Crosstrek base with the two liter four cylinder. Actually, that felt a lot better than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be pretty anemic, but it actually had a good bit of power. You can see now we're getting better MPGs. We got that uh, in green right there. So actually that felt a lot better than I thought it would. That initial low end torque, you get that punch. I don't know if it picked it up on camera, but it definitely has low end torque, a uh, low end torque punch. So maybe I'll do a little, one more little punch. But I mean, just definitely good enough acceleration. No, you definitely don't need any more acceleration on a daily driver. I'm sure you guys are not gonna be using this thing as a sports car. Um, so I think this thing's got more than enough power. It's got great fuel economy. You get standard all wheel drive. You get standard Subaru EyeSight. You get wired Apple CarPlay, wired Android Auto. I think this thing looks pretty dang good as well. Um, and I really like the 17 inch wheels that look like faux beadlock wheels. Big fan of the way that this thing looks on the exterior. And I think you get a lot for your money for $27,000 in my personal opinion. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys agree or disagree with me. But that's it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy the video, please give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. Like I said, I'm really gunning for 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2022 and I cannot do that without your guys' help. So if you guys would give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. But I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.